These are my pickups for the month of August. Uh, almost every game I bought this month was uh, pre-owned. I bought three games that were uh, brand new and I bought them at discount prices. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with my uh, DS games. First game is Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Mobilized. Uh, I've been waiting to get this game. I bought it at uh, pre-owned for 24 bucks, and I traded in another game to uh, reduce that price down. Haven't played it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. Luminous Arc. This is pre-owned at GameStop. Cost me 13 bucks. Scourge Hive. Uh, this came out on the Game Boy Advance first, and. Uh, I don't know why I haven't bought it before. I thought I had it, but I didn't. And I bought this from a pawn shop uh, for ten bucks. It's actually for eight bucks. Astro Invaders, kind of an L. This is a brand new game when I bought it. I bought it for fifteen bucks. It's a uh, El Cheapo version of uh, kind of Asteroids, only it's it's a little more intense, but it's it's just as fun. I like it. If you're looking for an El Cheapo uh, shooter to uh, add to your collection. You know, this might be a good buy. You might want to look into it. That brings my Nintendo DS collection up to 496. Hopefully by this time next month, if I don't, you know, if I, unless I choose not to spend too much money, I'll have 500 in my collection. So, okay, my next two games I bought from a pawn shop for 10 bucks a piece, and uh, they're for the Xbox 360. I don't like to click too much for the Xbox 360. I love my Xbox 360, but I got burned because I got the Red Rings of Death. And they say statistically about 56% of the time when you get the Red Rings of Death, you're going to get it again. So I'm afraid that I'll collect all these uh, 360 games. And then a few years down the road, I won't be able to find a Xbox 360. And uh, I'll have these games sitting around uh, collecting dust. But anyhow, for the time being, I bought... Bioshock and Mass Effect. I haven't played them yet, but I plan to later on this month. That brings my Xbox 360 collection up to eight. Believe it or not, I don't have a whole lot of uh, Xbox 360 games. Okay, now for my PSP games for this month. I bought Monster Kingdom Jewel Summoner. I bought this for 10 bucks at GameStop. I never even heard of this game. But apparently it's from the same guys who make uh, Shin uh, Tensei Tsugami or whatever that's called. Uh, yeah, Shin Megami Tensei, which is a pretty good series. But uh, I looked on the back and they said it was over five hours of uh, video game play. So I'm wondering what kind of an RPG only plays for five hours. So I figured I'd buy it. It was 10 bucks. I'll check it out. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. I waited till this went down in price. I bought it for 17 bucks at GameStop. Uh, I already have Monster, Monster Hunter Freedom, but I guess this is the most popular PSP game in Japan, or it was at one time, so I figured it would be a good idea to put it in my collection. Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron. I like the Star Wars Battlefront games. I wish it'd come out with a straight up uh, aircraft game uh, like uh, you know Star Wars Rogue Leader or something like that on PSG. That'd be cool. But in the meantime, I got this. Haven't played it yet, but the other two were okay to play with. That brings my uh, PSP collection up to 279. Now, I bought a bunch of, I went down, decided to buy a bunch of, to enhance my uh, PS2 collection, even though I barely play my PS2 games, but I have been slowly but surely getting caught up and uh, checking out the games, and uh, I bought some used games, all of them used, all of them pre-owned, and uh, pretty good uh, deals too. This one is Gun Griffin Blaze. I bought this for four bucks at GameStop. Didn't come with the box, but uh, I'm holding it upside now. It's a uh, robot combat game. You're in an arena in this area, different environments where you're trying to shoot other robots. 
And for uh, eight bucks, I got God of War 2. And it uh, it's come with two discs. And it's got uh, the manual in it as well. So I bought this from my local video uh, store or video rental place. For uh, nine bucks, I bought Grim Grimori. Haven't played it yet. I haven't played any of my uh, PS2, any of these PS2 games yet. The Red Star. I think this cost nine bucks. And Future Tactics. That brings my uh, number of uh, PS2 games up to uh, 61. So hopefully I'll take the time to play most of them in my lifetime. And uh, hopefully my PS2 will last quite a while. Now, last but not least, I'm going to show off the new, uh, well, almost new Wii games that I bought recently. And, uh, you know, I hear a lot of scuttlebutt about how uh, everybody's looking forward to the Wii HD. But you know what? There's nothing wrong with the graphics on the Wii. The graphics on these games that I've played so far have been absolutely beautiful. And, for example, this game, Castle Shigigami 3. It's a vertical shooter, and it's a, it's a beautiful game. And the only thing is, there's a lot on the screen, and I don't know what stuff I'm supposed to capture, what stuff I'm supposed to shoot at, what stuff I'm supposed to run into for power-ups. It does get kind of confusing, but it's still a fun game. For 20 bucks, I bought The Conduit. Didn't like this game too much, uh... It seemed like this game did everything wrong. They say it's the best shooting game on the Wii, but I, I disagree. Uh, I didn't like the fact that shooting human enemies, I had to shoot like, I had to hit them like five or six times with one, you know, with five rounds. And whenever I throw a grenade at a bunch of dudes close together, all of them would die except for that one guy, which of course you had to waste ammo on. Another thing I didn't like about this game was the fact that, uh, some of the enemies, some of the bad guys, didn't pop up until you were out in the open. You know, you could sit there and crouch and try to look around, but until you move out in the open, all of a sudden they pop up and they shoot you, taking away some of your health. It just... I, I did not enjoy this game. It was not fun at all. So, but I got it for my collection. Muramasa, the Demon Blade. This is probably not only one of the most beautiful games on the Wii, but I'd say it's one of the most beautiful games ever. It's uh, kind of a mixture between Double Dragon or Final Fight and uh, an RPG. It is an RPG. You do collect uh, levels. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful game. You use different swords at different times, and you switch swords a lot. And uh, you play as a girl, and it's just the, it, the graphics are just gorgeous. And it's a fun game to play, too. Really fun. I love this game. Muramasa, the Demon Blade. And I bought that for 20 bucks. Knight's Journey of Dreams for 10 bucks. Haven't played this one yet. I heard it was based on a, or the sequel to a uh, classic Sega Saturn game. Boom Blocks, Bash Party. An outst I bought this at a pawn shop for 10 bucks. An outstanding sequel to an outstanding game. In fact, I think this one surpasses it. It seems like uh, the controls are a lot more cooperative, and it's just, it's just a blast to play. It's, it's really, really fun. If you like uh, Boom Blocks, you definitely need to get this game. And it's great, great party game as well. Good to play with friends. For 10 bucks, I bought Wii Sports Resort, and it's got a bunch of different, uh, mini, uh, bunch of different games on there. Strangely enough, to me, the game that's the most addictive is the one where you're riding in an airplane and you have to go to different parts of the resort to pick up uh, what they call points of interest and uh, run your aircraft into them to pick them up. But you have to use the Wii Remote Plus. I had to go out and buy one of those. But uh, it's an excellent, excellent collection of games. Now from Walmart, I bought uh, two El Cheapo games, A Boy and His Blob for 20 bucks. This was based on the old Nintendo game, A Boy and His Blob. 
haven't played it yet, it's not even unsealed. And uh, from the makers of Puzzle Quest, Puzzle Kingdoms. I've got it uh, for both the handhelds, and uh, I like it at higher difficulty levels. I haven't played it on the Wii yet, though. Okay, guys, that brings my uh, Wii collection up to a whopping 16. Hopefully, over the next couple of months, I'll enhance my collection and uh, go from there. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy. Please leave your comments. You can follow me at Twitter, uh, JB, JB and Minot, and I'm looking forward to hearing from you. In the meantime, you guys have a great week, and God bless you. Have a happy Labor Day. Bye. Well, I'm about to get upset. Watching my TV.